for today's lesson, you are going to need your sketchbook, a pencil, a black marker or colored pencil, and then something to color with, crayons, markers, or colored pencils. Today we are going to learn about typography art. Typography art creates an object by filling it in with text. We are going to create an image using the contour of an object. The contour is the outside edge of an object, so not the inside details. Here is an example of the contour of a donut. There are no details, it is just the outline. Here is the outline of this donut again, so that contour. Once I have the contour drawn, then I'm going to come in and fill in that shape with the letters of the word. So here are the bubble letters for donut that fill up that space. I also added extra details like the icing and the sprinkles once I had my letters finished. Here is a pizza. I'm going to fill it in with the letters of the word pizza in bubble letters and then erase the actual contour lines. So once those contour lines are gone, I should still see the shape of the word pizza created by those letters. Here is the contour of an egg. Once I fill it in with the letters of the word egg, then I can erase that contour line and I still see the shape of the egg left behind. Here is another example with music. This is the contour of the music notes. Here's the word music used to fill in that contour space and then that contour line is erased. To start my drawing, I am going to draw a chicken. So I am sketching out that contour line for my chicken. Like always when I draw, I'm drawing very lightly because everything I am drawing right now will be erased. None of this is going to stay. Once I have the shape of my object, so whether you're doing food or an animal, um, any noun will work, so anything that you can draw. Once I have that shape drawn, then I'm going to come in and think about how I can make the letters fit that space. Now I kind of just have to play around with my letters to figure out how they are going to fit. For my example, I'm going to start with that C up at the top of the head because it kind of follows the curve anyways. It might be easier for you to draw the letters in just in regular letters and then come and add the bubble around that. Um, you, it's kind of a play with the idea and see what fits. So draw lightly because you might have to do a little bit of erasing to figure things out. Um, as I was working with this and thinking about it before doing this recording, I knew that my K was going to be the legs of my chicken. So I knew that I had to fit that K in so that it would fit over those legs. You might think about how a certain letter will fit in whatever object you have chosen and kind of build around that. Or you can divide up the object into the number of letters that you have and then make those letters fit into those spaces that you created. Even as I worked, I kind of knew where my bubble letters were going to go. Once I finished my letters, I went back in and thought about how I could make those letters fill up even more of the space. So I made my C a little bit bigger. I stretched out my N a little bit differently so that way I didn't have as much empty space inside of my contour line of my chicken. As I worked, I also decided to add the beak and the comb of my chicken into my letter C. And then the same thing with the feet. I made those a part of the letter K so that they were not something separate. Once I was done with my drawing, I came in with a Sharpie and I outlined all of my letters. So all of the outside edges of all of the letters, but I did not outline the actual chicken itself. That original contour line that I drew, I am not going to outline. 
I will erase that once I have outlined all of my letters. Once I had all of my outlining done, I decided I wanted to add in some of the details of the chicken. So I added in the chicken wing. I added in where some of those neck feathers end against the body feathers, and then also where the feathers end against the feet. I did this first in pencil, and then I outlined with felt tip. I wanted my lines to be a little bit thinner for the details than I did with my outlining, but if you wanted to use the same marker that you use for your outlining, you could do that too. Once all of your outlining is done, all that's left is to color in your picture. I am coloring mine in normal colors for a chicken so that it makes it even more obvious that it is a chicken. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils. You can paint if you want. Um, whatever materials you have at home that you would like to use in your piece will work for this. Here are a couple other examples of words that I drew the contour line lightly in pencil and then I used the bubble letters to fill in the word. Pick a word that is important to you or something that you like or that can tell us a little bit about you. Again, when you are finished, your picture is colored and everything is done, make sure and take a picture of that and upload to Artsonia. And then again, if you ever have any questions, please reach out to your art teacher.